Well, what's up there, guys? Uh, I'll be honest. I did my best to do a live thing for this game. But it did not come out well at all. So, I just played it without talking to get immersed in it once again after so many years of not touching it. And I just did a bunch of different uh, games for you guys and played them all in multiplayer. All of the games you see right now is multiplayer. So without any introduction, I just have to tell you, it's Battlefront 2. There is not much to say about that title. Because unlike Republic Commando, everybody knows what, Repo uh, what, Republic <laughs> what Battlefront 2 is all about. Massive, huge, big, Star Wars, four factions, shitload ton of maps, shitload ton of units, different special units, the most bought Star Wars game in the entire franchise history, only surpassing Battlefront 1, which held its title as the most sold Star Wars game ever, until Battlefront 2 over outsold it. And years after the game was released, years after modding, after multiple different iterations of this game, Battlefront 2 still stands as the most popular Star Wars game ever. It's a third person shooter, it's a first person shooter, it's space combat, it's vehicle combat, it's Jedi combat, everything and anything you want about this game is here everything you want from star wars is here i previously said the republic commander is by far the best first first person shooter and story based uh, game for star wars ever created and i still stand by that decision but battlefront 2 along with battlefront 1 is the best star wars game ever not just shooter it's just the best star wars game ever you knights of old republic fans can lick my nuts Battlefront 2 will always remain the king of Star Wars game of Star Wars games. Sure, Jedi Academy is up there, but I'm talking about a complete Star Wars game. The campaign itself has a good story about 501st. Once again, voiced by Tim Ware Morrison, whom I adore and love, which is obviously Django Fett, and. Follows the story of 501st, which is Wa Waiter's personal legion, called Waiter's Fist. Vader's, what is a Waiter? Vader's Fist. From their inception on Camino, to the Battle of Geonosis redone uh, from the first game, all the way down to the Imperial Age, where they fight until the end of um, of Clone Wars and then Rebellion. Battlefront 2 has it all. Space combat right now. It's complete. It's there. It's well done. It's well transformed from the movies into the games. There is not smallest hitch here. Sure, sometimes online play can be a bit janky and rugged. Sure, not everything is like spit perfect, but graphically this game holds up as well. It's not the best looking game, but for when it was released, it was the very good looking game very detailed game multiple objectives on on each maps multiple uh, environmental hazards sarlacc pits obviously uh, uh, npc destroyers npc terrorists npc characters you have jawa sand people gamorian guards uh, mercenaries you have droids everything you want from a star wars game action game it's right here and it's still <laughs> the I just I just don't know what to say. I'm looking at the footage right now and I still am speechless. Some people say you're a super fanboy, but I'm speechless because this game is just that complete. You can play with Grievous, Darth Sidious, um, Count Dooku, Boba Fett. Uh, you can play with Han Solo, Chewbacca, uh, Luke, uh, Obi-Wan, Anakin. You can play with Yoda. You name it, almost all heroes are in this game. Plus, if you add the mods, you can play as Republic Commando, uh, special droids, IG-88 droids. You can play, um, obviously, you can play as both Boba Fett and Jango Fett. Um, mods for this game are just amazing. There are custom, uh, custom-made maps, vehicle maps. There are skins for your characters. There are skins for droids, Imperial Troopers. Everything you ever wish from a Star Wars game. 
can be modded into this game and get it for PC. And I'm not even talking about multiplayer yet because multiplayer is a huge part of this game, not single player. Multiplayer is where this game's at. 32 with a 32. 20, 32, like 64 total players, 32 clashing together. I'm playing actually, all of the maps I'm playing was 64 player maps, 32 versus 32. It's hell on wheels. And you can play in first person as well. What other games allow you to play both in third and first person besides Jedi Academy? And it transitions really smoothly between third person and first person, so you don't lose anything. In third person, you can play as a third person shooter. In first person, you play as first person shooter. Period. There is no loss of, loss of quality in any uh, mode you play in. You still die, you still get killed, blah, 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 blah. You want it, you got it in whatever person you want. Shotgunners, rocket launchers, special units, droidicas are awesome. Uh, Jetpack troopers um, for clones are awesome. Jump pack troopers for Imperials are awesome. And of course, Rebel Bolt and Spies are kick ass. I don't, uh, one person with a Jedi can be devastating. One person with a Sith can be devastating. It's it's it becomes such a complete experience that you throw everything else out of your head, and you can't believe that you're playing a masterpiece of a game. What other game delivers such content? If it's not a strategy game, maybe a third-person shooter. Mass Effect was a great story-based shooter, third-person shooter. But I'm sorry to say this Mass Effect fans. I'm a Mass Effect fan myself. I mean, I love Garrus. And Grunt. And Rex. Rex is by far my favorite. But uh, Mass Effect has nothing on Battlefront series. Nothing. Your silly mechanics for cover, keep them. Nothing beats an old-fashioned arcade-style shooting game with plenty of fun and, and zero not fun. You die, you have fun in this game. You die, you have... Yeah, sure, it's frustrating, but it's fun frustration. Oh, it's not on, annoying on, frustration. It just keeps you in the game, Jeebus. Uh, so as I said, I brought you guys a game, uh, all multiplayer games, not story-based game. If you want a story-based campaign, please give me a talkie-talkie uh, -talkie shout shout. Um, I honestly do not know what else to talk about except the fact of my, what my favorite faction is. Uh, obviously, my favorite faction is CIS. Confederacy of Independent Systems, uh, Separatists, a lot playing with droids. The reason, um, I, I promised I would share my opinions with prequels and um, an original trilogy, but before I do that, I promise I'm going to read uh, one of the good comments that people posted about Republic Commando. I'm actually quite surprised people watch this stuff. I mean, I, I, I'm always up for people commenting and whatnot, so let me just uh, get inside the little uh, comment box. I just read a comment that I really liked. I really do like it with Father Commando. Uh, excuse me. It's early in the morning and I'm yawning. Hopefully you guys you enjoy the content that we pump out so far. Um, what is it? Uh, there's like people posted multiple comments. I'm just gonna read something then. No, that's not it. Mm, no, 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 that's not it. I, I saw a really good... Um, there you go, why not? Why, why don't I read this guy? This game is, is extra, extraordinary. The way it makes you feel for the character is superb. The story for the game is magnificent. I do wish they'll bring out a sequel for this game. It does deserve re remarkable recognition. You should continue playing this game because I probably won't be able to find anyone better to show us and tell us about this wonderful game, but you keep up the good work. Thank you very much. A uh, comment made by Spartacan Knights 37 I mean, everybody posted really nice comments about the game itself. I mean, I can read all, the, all, all day long and just give it to a developer, and they're like, yep, we're going to make a sequel to that. But um, that's pretty much what I'm going to talk about, Republican Commander 2, Republican Commander 1, blah, blah, blah. But in terms of my opinion on uh, prequels, okay. let me gather my thoughts on this. I have I have some time. It's not enough, I don't have enough time to actually show everything about it, but I'll tell you something. I love original trilogy. The original trilogy, four, five, and six were amazing films. Lucas did a superb job, just to use a wonderful word, amazing job with the prequels. Nothing wrong with them. Loved every character: Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, Jodie Foster. Everything. Jodie Foster was in it, right? Right. Everything was good about the game. I mean, puppeteering. Old school special effects, you got it. While the original trilogy is fantastic, I cannot bring myself to bring hate towards the prequels. 
a lot of Star Wars fans hate prequels. I understand why. I agree with them. Lucas did a piss poor job at that. However, you must look at this prequel stuff not as movies, but as a window. A window that brought you great games like the Knights of the Old Republic. That brought you the games like Battlefront 2, like Republic Commando. The games that brought you the likes of Jedi Academy. The games that brought you some sort of background story on the clone troopers and stormtroopers and the Jedi ways. Sure, midi chlorians bullshit, yada yada yada. Sure, Jar Jar Binks, crappy dappy dappy. When I watched the first original trilogy, I kept all those things in my mind and I understand what was wrong, but I still enjoyed them. Would I pick 1, 2, 3, or 4, 5, 4, 5, and 6? No. Am I ever going to go into big debate why if 1, 2, and 3 are good? But I will defend 1, 2, and 3 because they brought so much extra media. If you think about it, a lot of planets and extended universe wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the, for the prequels. The new Star Wars series which were acclaimed and praised by a lot of fans wouldn't exist if it was not for the prequels. Games would not exist if it was not for the prequels. I wouldn't like Evan McGregor and Liam Neeson if it was not for the prequels. Taken! The dude bloomed after after Star Wars. No matter how piss poor quality it was, Evan McGregor was an amazing actor. Sure, Chris, uh, Hayden Christensen, or yeah, whatever, did a piss poor job. But he rose after that and he did Jumper, was a great movie too. You would not have the animated series for Star Wars, which was amazing anime. Well, anime, cartoon, it was an ama it was amazing cartoon. What is the drawn version? It was amazing kick-ass. That is why I will defend prequels. That is why I will come to a stupid blind... I don't want to insult anyone, but stupid morons of fans of original trilogy. And shove them these facts in their faces. And when they see on their shelf Battlefront 2, I will point them and tell them, Asshole, this is what prequels gave you. Now shut your trap and enjoy it. Don't fucking trash it just because you disagree with Lucas' vision. I get it. Just shut the fuck up and enjoy the Battlefront 2. And Republic Commando. That is why we'll defend prequels. You can hate me. You can ignore me. You can d write death threats to me. I will defend prequels till my last dying breath. Because I love Mr. Count Dooku. And I loved Grievous. And I loved Mustafar. It was a kick-ass planet. I like Mustafar. Prequels. Can live without them. Can have great games like this without them. And... Sorry. That's the way I feel about prequels. As I said, Empire at War. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna go down the list and tell you games that inspired. Uh, Starfighter game was inspired by, uh, obviously, the prequels. Uh, Force Unleashed, as much as crappy as a game as it was, it was a great storyteller. It was a great game in that regards, inspired by prequels. Uh, Battlefront, I obviously already said that. Um, Lego Star Wars, which, which is a fun game to play just overall. Guys, that's all I have to say. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bellfront 2 is here. Bye.